Welcome to Columbia, Missouri, where we are in Mizzou Arena for the Class 2 boys third place game between the Haytai Indians and the Osceola Indians. Thanks for joining me, Nick Adams here. We will get underway momentarily. 
Hei and Osceola losing a couple heartbreaking games. Hei against Billings losing that game 79 to 60. And then Osceola against Salisbury. They lost 77 43. So looking for a little redemption here. Looking for third place in this class two boys third place game. Starting lineup for Osceola will be Timothy Powell at guard, Jacob Murray at guard, Richard Self at guard, and then Jared Pearson at center and George Pearson. Twin brothers there for the Hayti Indians. They'll be Ken Kenan Norris, Hunter Turner, Kennard Hume, Jerome Thomas, and Demetrius Luster. And we are underway here in Columbia, Missouri. Osceola wins the tip off. Murray bringing the ball up. Then they're looking to try to find a lane. Chris himself, the freshman, passing over to Powell. Powell for three. He gets the first bucket of the game. Timothy Powell for three. Senior guard. Now here comes Hayti looking to answer. Working it around that zone. Trying to get inside. They are able to do so. That is Jerome Thomas. Thomas started off very nicely in the second quarter against the last game against Billing. Let's see if he can get off to a much quicker start. Now here's a dynamic duo for Osceola. And he, Jordan Pearson, is blocked by Thomas. Osceola trying to get the ball in. They're having a tough time doing so. They will turn it over. Now here comes Hayti. They like to run. Good Nola pass. Not able to get the finish though, but there is a foul. Turner will go to the line shooting through that foul. Will be on Timothy Powell. First team foul. And I will look that block again. All ball by Jerome Thomas. Interior defense for Hayti needs to be strong here. They're going against a couple of 6 6 seniors in Jordan and Jared Pearson. Turner missing the first free throw. He will get the second. 3 3. The freshman bringing it up. Going against the senior. And self throwing that away. Another turnover for Osceola. Two quick turnovers for the Indians, and that's what really played Hey Ty in that game against Billings yesterday. Too many turnovers, over 25. They look to keep Eric control of the ball here. They're not able to do so there. That's their first turnover. Now Osceola is running self with the lay and He will get it. Guy just trying to do a little too much against the zone. Need to work, need to pass the ball around, not go one on one. One on one against the zone. Very rarely succeed. Hughes will take the ball up top. Looking for a set play. Coach is pleading with him to move it, not stand still. That ball will be deflected off Pearson. Hayti getting the ball inside, and that'll be a foul. First foul on Jared Pearson. Actually, looks like Jordan Pearson is a little shaken up. Looks like he got hit in the head. And he's looking a little dizzy right now. Go telling Jared Pearson, keep your hands up, don't come down, and there'll be a substitution coming on in to be Logan Carney. So sacrificing five inches for that substitution. Carney listed as 6-1. Thomas with the first free throw. That hits a front iron. A tie one for three on free throws so far. Two for four. Now here comes A tie's full court press. Powell able to get the ball, he'll pass it back over to Self, now Self running. Trying to beat the press. There'll be a foul on Turner. Hey, 
That is Turner's first foul of the game. We'll see how they can get the ball in. Again, having trouble doing so. Ooh, close backcourt, and that will actually be a backcourt call. Powell causing the other turnover. Referee giving the head coach Adam Collins an explanation. A tie down by one. I guess what looks to be a 1 2 2 zone. And it would be a kick ball on Murray. So Hatai having a hard time finding it inside. And that's good news for Osceola. Hatai not a big three point shooting team. They get it inside here. There's Luster. He will lay it in. Full court man pressure. Self just running it. He will throw it away. That's his second turnover of the game. No side of that pressure getting to the freshman. We'll go back to that. Play by Luster. Just an easy pass. Good pass by Thomas. Finding Luster. A little two-man game right there. Turner thinking about it. No, he's not. They get it inside again. And just a crazy shot by Thomas. Looks like he was trying to draw the foul, not able to do so. And we'll have a couple substitutions for it. Hey, Coming on in will be Marion Newville and Jamel Covington. Substituting out will be Norris and Hume. So with that full court pressure. And Osceola has him beat. Here comes Murray with the lay-in. He will get it to go off the outreach arm of Luster. They're looking to find that inside route in that 1-2-2 two, two zone, and they're able to get a turnover. Here comes Osceola. Self will have a... His foot was actually on the out-of-bounds line, so there will be another turnover. And we'll have another look. You just see Murray just sprinting down to the other court. Easy lane for him. Osceola will take that all day. There's a three-pointer by Turner. That'll go. Now Osceola's running. Murray thinking about answering. He opts to get it back out. We're going to see the big man. He'll actually take the shot himself. That'll be a foul on Covington. And we'll look at the three-pointer again by Turner. Just wide open. No one getting out to cover him. A tie, not a very big three-point shooting team, but when they have the opportunities, they'll take them. Turner actually shooting just under 34% from three-point land. First one is good for Murray. Otiola coming into this tournament 21 and 10 on the season. A tie 27 and 5. Murray hits them both. So, Osceola needs to be active on that zone, not allow those three pointers. Turner thinking about it. He pumps fake, he takes it back out to Hume. Here's to Newbill. Newbill will shoot a three. That'll go. Uncontested three point shot by Newbill, and he makes a pay. Now another break, it's Murray again. He'll look to find Pearson. Pearson using his body, not able to get the roll. And that ball will go to Haytai. We'll look at that three point shot. Look, no one getting out to guard him. And that was actually Dean. And he just stays back. Haytai has been beating him both inside and outside so far. And there's Turner. He'll have an open three, and he gets another one. Three for three for Haytai in this game so far. Now Murray's bringing the ball up, going against Covington. Murray, a freshman, he will get the pass over to Pearson. There will be a block called on Jordan Pearson. 
Dillon needing to cut down on the turnovers, and there'll be a timeout by Adam Collins trying to get his team back in gear. Three for three on three-pointers by Hintai. And two of them coming from the senior guard, Hunter Turner. Another one coming from junior guard, Nubu. And we'll go ahead and look at that last three by Turner. You know when you're feeling it, you're feeling it. He didn't even think twice about it. Actually, pretty good defense by Powell. He closed out really nicely. But to no avail. 15-9, a tie over Osceola in this first quarter. Osceola had two freshmen in the starting lineup right now. That'd be Jacob Murray and Driss himself. The other three are seniors. A tie doesn't have a single freshman on the starting lineup right now. Coming to passing it back over Newbill. Newbill almost lost, loses it. Brings it back out to Turner. We'll see how well he's feeling it. He's not feeling it from that deep. Coming to trying to find someone. That, uh, you have to think, hey, Ty's looking for Turner. There's Turner with another three. Ah, it does not get the roll. But, hey, Ty will keep possession after a little miscommunication by Osceola, not able to get that rebound. Now, if you're Philip Taylor, coach of the Hey Tai Indians. You have to be okay with that shot. That was a wide open three-pointer for Turner. And if he's knocking him down like he is right now, give him all the free reign. You both think about it. He doesn't want it. Covington will take it. Now Hey Tai starting to cool off a little bit. Ocilla gets the rebound. Murray pushing it up. And a near turnover by Carney. It's away from that one. Now we have another freshman entering the game. That'll be Dallas So He will be replacing Logan Carney. And one more substitution, Tristan So Coming out will be Jerome Thomas for Haytai on their substitution. A good looking pass and good set, off offensive set for Osceola. Jordan Pearson will be the beneficiary of that too. Covington driving the line. He was trying to find Thomas. Not able to do so. Pass deflected. It'll still be Haytai's ball. Taking it out will be Turner. Hume. Covington back over inside. There will be a foul. Blocking call. Thomas drawing that foul, and that will be on one of the big men. It will actually be Jordan Pearson. That'll be his first foul of the game. Thomas has two shots, and the first one goes. And here's the second. That will go as well. 17-11, hey, Ty. Bring it up will be Dallas Self. Trying to get through, and he draws a foul on Bernard Hume. So Self will be the point guard. Right now, passing it over to Murray. There's a possible trap. Hey, Ty not able to get the trap there. But they do cause a little disruption in the flow of offense for Osceola. They'll find it in. Another possible trap by Hitai, not able to get it. And now Murray has it at the top of the key. Starting it over to Dean. He almost throws it away to himself. Just himself. Driving the lane, good pass to Dallas Self, but that is squatting. Major squat by Thomas, and now here comes Haytai. Hume, driving the lane, not able to get it, and it almost dunked by Thomas. Haytai has numbers. No call there. With a the putback, he will get it in. Trevor Dean with the two points. Now Haytai, coming back, and will that be a, that'll be a blocking call. On Pearson, Pearson with two fouls already in the first quarter. That is huge for Osceola. I'll go back to that eight-tie block. Think 
Dallas Self has a clear lane, but there's an absolute swap by Thomas, not in his house. And now he will be shooting two. He will get the first one to drop. Now substitution, now coming in for his twin brother, Gary Pearson, will relieve Jordan Pearson. That height so key for Osceola to keep them in this game. Pearson will get the rebound. Osceola down by five. Just himself. Trying to find something. He will try to pass it to Dallas Self. Dallas Self not able to hang on. Substitution. Powell will come back in for Trevor Dean. And another substitution, Jacob Stewart will come in for Dallas Self. One, two, two zone from Osceola still. Atai getting the ball in the perimeter and they will get a 17 foot jump shot from Norris. Powell over to Stewart. Stewart back over to Powell. Powell trying to find a center, and there's another turnover for Osceola. Good pass by Newville to Norris, and that will be easy for Haytai. They get another lay-in. 50 seconds left in the first quarter. 22-13, and another turnover. Atai bring it back out. Here's Humes. He'll drive the lane. He will get blocked by Pearson. But there will be a call, blocking call, or pushing call, I should say, and that foul. And that foul is also on Pearson. So both of the 6 6 standards for Osceola are in a bit of foul trouble. Both have two fouls here in the first quarter, and that will be an air ball on Humes. He's making, looking to redeem himself after that first air ball. That hits the front iron, go, go, not go. able to go in. And now Osceola will run Powell with the left hand away, and he will get it to go. Haytai not getting back in that instance. Lee's cut to seven. Turnover by Haytai. Powell passing that back over to Self. Just himself bringing the ball. He'll look to try to pass that. And there will be a foul called. And that looks to be on Norris. Loose ball foul. That's Norris's first foul. He has some substitutions coming on in. Covington will be coming back in for Haytai. He will relieve June. Five seconds left. Powell looking like he'll take the last shot and something happened with his ankle. He is down right now. And I'm not sure what exactly happened, but Powell is down and that was just an awkward fall. And I, it looks like he's grabbing his right knee with a brace. And he is needing some help at the moment. End of the first quarter here. Hey, ties 22, Osceola 15. And Powell is in no hurry to get back up. And it looks like he is in some serious pain right now. And, and we'll go ahead and be right back and we'll give you the second quarter and an update on Powell's injury.
And we're back with the second quarter. Timothy Powell looks like he might be done for the game. This is the end at the first quarter. You just see his knee just looks like just turns awkwardly. He has a brace on that right knee. And we'll see exactly. It looks like his night is done, folks. And that's a huge blow to the Osceola Indians. The senior 5'11 guard. Now we will go ahead and start the second quarter. Just unfortunate to see here in the third place game between Hatai and Osceola. You don't want to go out like that. And he is at the end of the bench. And we'll see if he come back, but he looks like he's going to be out for a little while. Hatai driving the lane. Nothing happening there, and that'll be Osceola's ball. Now more on Powell, when you were looking at him walking off, he could barely put any pressure. That full court trap is actually going to work in Haytai's favor. And now you have Turner bringing the ball up. He'll pass that over to Covington. Covington back over to Turner. Turner with two threes on the game so far. Covington setting it up on the top of the key on that 1-2-2 two, two zone. Now looking more like a 3-2. Now we have Frankie Burton in for, in for Hatai, I should say. Getting a little bit more size on that interior. Turner passing it in. Shot by Norris, not able to fall. Near turnover by Osceola. And Stewart will pass it back over to Self. Self, back over to Stewart. Now he has it again. Self needing to get rid of it. He has a five count on him. He does. Turner on Murray. Back over to Dean. Dean trying to drive baseline. Not able to do so. Still be Osceola ball. Going in will be Self. He'll find the good look. Not able to drop for Stewart. Oh, near still by Osceola. In particular, just himself the freshman, but nothing doing. It'll still be Haytai's ball. 22-15 here in the second quarter. Covington will take point. Norris looking for Turner. Turner not finding the open shot he wants. He'll pull that back out to Norris. Hatai is spreading the floor very nicely. They'll get it inside, trying to find a little inside out game. No foul call, but Frankie Burton gets a rebound, and he won't get a foul call either. He's a little unsure of that. And another turnover by Osceola. Stewart passing the ball a little too far ahead of Dean. Mario Newville coming on in for Frankie Burton. Substituting size with a little bit more speed here. Trying to get inside. Self does a good job trying to get that out. Self again trying to get it out north. Too tall, but he won't be able to get it through. North with the steal. That'll go off his foot. It'll be Osceola ball. Substitutions in for Osceola. Dallas Self will come back in. And so will Jordan Pearson. trying to get through that trap. He's able to do so. And now Osceola will break the trap and they will get an easy two. Jordan Pearson 
with the lay-in. Turner driving the lane. Foul call, he will not get the and one, but he will go to the line for two. He'll go to Osceola. You see Murray breaking the zone very well, and just a simple catch and catch, and then you have Jordan Pearson with the easy two. Ball not even hitting the ground. On that pass from Dean to Pearson. Three throw for Turner will go. Atai only up six points, but they seem to be in control of this game from the start of the first quarter. Turner will hit two of two. Dallas and Driss himself playing, and there's a good pass, and now looking to break the zone. They're able to do so. Pearson trying to get strong, not able to get the first one, but he'll follow it up, and he will get his own put back. Jordan Pearson with four straight points. Turner driving the lane again, a little inside out game. Here comes Newberry. Newbill able to get those two points. There's just himself. He'll pass that to Jordan Pearson and a swat by Thomas. That is his second of the game. We'll have another look at that rejection by Jerome Thomas, that is his second. And he is making a statement down low. Murray in a little bit of trouble, he will find Self, Self trying to get the, the floater, not able to do so, but he will go to the line. Dallas Self bailing out his teammate Murray. The two freshmen working together very nicely. Self with two. In and out for the first one. He can make one of two. He's able to do so. 20 26. A tie leading. Newbell turning it over to Self. Self over to Murray. And Murray will have a double dribble call. Murray just needs to stay a little bit under control to prevent those turnovers. Hey Ty, doing a good job causing a lot of turnovers for themselves, and they're turning those into points. Nubo passing it back over to Turner. Turner trying to find Norris, not able to do so. Now here comes Dallas Self. He will get stripped by Cummington. Cummington will throw it up. He was looking for Thomas, not able to find him. And a pair of turnovers from the Indians of both Haytai and Osceola. Jacob Murray bringing the ball up for it. Giants Pittman doing a good job keeping his dribble until that goes off his foot. A little too much pressure for Haytai for Murray's liking. 3.30 left to go in this second quarter. And there's a strip that goes on the back of Newville, but he can't find it. Now here comes Osceola. Driss himself passing it over to Murray. Murray trying to find Jordan Pearson, not able to do so. And there's a steal by Newville. He'll get the lay in. Dallas self contesting the layup, not able to do much about it. 28-20, hey tie. Murray with the spin move. He'll do it all himself. He'll try to get the lane, but he will draw the foul on Jerome Thomas. Oh, look at that steal by Newbill. Reading the pass, Self not able to catch up for him. A tie with an easy two points. Murray taking a little breather here as Ozil will have another couple substitutions. Subbing on in for Jordan Pearson will be Trevor Dean. Now, hey, Ty having a couple substitutions of their own. Norris will substitute in for Jerome Thomas. And Antonio Johnson also entered the game for the Hey, Ty Indians. 
Murray drains his first free throw. Needing this to get it to a six point game. He gets it. 28-22, hey tie. Newbill driving lane, he's rejected by Pearson. Now Murray driving the lane. Haven't seen a three point shot yet by Osceola, no need to. Self trying to get that ball, not able to do so, but Murray is in a fight. Excuse me, that was actually Trevor Dean with the ball in, and now here's the rejection, Jerry Pearson. Quickly swatting away Newbill, taking a page out of Jerome Thomas' book. Had a hard time getting the ball in. So still, and there will be an almost steal. Pearson passing it back over to Dean. Dean driving the baseline. He's cut off. Now here's Self with the floater. That's short. Norris passing it over to Newbill. Oh, almost a steal, but there will be a deflection on Turner after Self, Tristan Self, I should say. Deflects the pass, Turner not able to handle it. Osceola will get the ball. Murray bringing the ball up. He's trying to get a screen. He has a five count on him. He gets the ball inside to Self, and there will be a foul on Norris. That is Norris's second foul of the game. The 17th foul for the Haytai Indians. Dallas Self not able to convert his first free throw. Coming on in for Dean will be Logan Carney. Now even though Osceola has both 6'6 senior centers, Haytai has the advantage height-wise if you go from top to bottom. And that'll be a turnover, Osceola will get the ball. And that'll be a kick ball, Osceola still maintains possession, but not for long, here comes Newbill. He'll be contested, he will not get the lay in. Thomas looking to hit it off Osceola, not able to do so, and now here we have Dallas Self, one on one. With a crazy shot, but he will get that to fall, Jerome Thomas with the foul for the Haytai Indians and a chance for a three point play for the Osceola Indians. Of another look on that Dallas self laying one on one. He is still moving. He gets him with the body. Self throwing it up, and he will get that to fall. And he gets a three point play. Osceola only down by two with less than two minutes left to go. Turner's been quiet ever since the second quarter. You have Johnson finding Newbill. Newbill thinking about three passes up, and there will be a foul called on what looks to be Trevor Dean on a reach-in. Newbill thought about that three-pointer. He saw that 6'6 six, six senior coming up at him, and he thought better of it. Two shots for Haytai. Newbill hits the first. In the last game, Newbill did pretty well at 12 points against Billings. And Osceola has to hurry up so they don't get that count. They're able to break the press. Or they set it back out. Murray taking it back out, trying to avoid a double team. Self with a long two. Not able to get that to go, and now here comes Haytai on the fast break. Johnson passing it to Newbill. Newbill will get the lay in. We'll have a look at that last play. Antonio Johnson with the fast break. He sees Newbill, good pass. Newbill almost losing the handle, but still able to keep it in. Almost a steal, and that is a steal by Haytai. Now, here comes Hunter Turner to the free throw line. 
So as quickly as Haytai gave up, believe they're starting to extend it. 18th foul by Osceola. Turner now has one and one. Gets the first. Marshall Turner with 10 points in today's game. This is coming from someone who averages nine a game already past his average. And he'll get both. He is now over 80% from the free throw line in today's game. OCL breaking the press. Murray bringing it back out. And that was just a bad pass to Dallas Self. Not much self to do with that. I have to say this full court press by Haytai is really disrupting Osceola. Already they have 19 turnovers. They are on pace for 38 turnovers on the game. So you're not going to win too many games, especially at this level. At the third place class two boys with 38 turnovers if they are on pace to do that. Right now I said that they have 19. Although they are generating steals, they do have seven. And field goal percentage is pretty respectable. They're shooting 47% as is a tie. They got luck. Actually, very good game. Offensive game by both teams. Three-pointer percentage for Osceola is at 50%. They are only one of two. For a tie, 60%. And a lot of that coming from Hunter Turner. Two for three for three pointers in this game. He has 11. Humes bringing the ball up. And it looks like they're looking. Let's hold off. That'll be a kick ball on Murray. 47 seconds left to go. Covington gets the ball and get out of that corner spot he's able to do so. Murray trying to go for the steal. He's not able to. Covington. He doesn't want to take that three quite yet. Oh, and a possible steal. Murray almost getting that one. He's getting closer and closer. Hume's driving the lane. He doesn't get it. He actually gets a rebound while he's on the ground. He'll pass that over to Luster. Luster will try to go up and he will get fouled. Jared Pearson will pick up his third personal. And would you look at this, folks? Timothy Powell is actually in the check in. He wants to come back into the game. Oh, it looks like he's still hobbling a little bit. I know a lot of people say third place doesn't mean that much. Tell that to Timothy Powell. You saw that injury at the end of the first quarter. He wants this game back. We'll see what he's able to do in the last 20 seconds. A fight for loose ball, and that'll be a traveling call on Haytai. Osceola down by nine. Here comes Murray trying to break. And there will be another turnover. That's 20 for Osceola. Newville passing that over to Covington. There's another two points for Haytai. Eight seconds left. They need to hurry up. Five seconds, four. Murray needs to shoot it. Shot is up. No good. Powell not able to get that last three point to drop. So after the first quarter, the Haytai Indian up 37. To 26, Osceola looking to get something. And here is another turnover by Osceola. That is their 20th. Nubo comes around. He'll pass that to Covington. It was actually a four on one. You have to like Haytai's chances right there. No need for a no look pass from Haytai. So at the end of the second quarter, 20 set, 26 for Osceola. Haytai, 37. We're going to go ahead and take a quick break here on Fox Sports coverage of this third place game, a class two boys.
Please stick with us for the second half.
back here for the third quarter of this Show Me Showdown. Class 2 boys, third place game here in Columbia, Missouri. The Hi Indians are doing a number on Osceola right now. 37-26, creating 20 turnovers. Are the Hi Indians, Osceola needs to take care of the ball if they want to have any chance at coming back into this game. Norris passing the ball into Hume. Hey, Ty doing a very good job against the zone defense from Osceola. They're getting it inside, a little inside out game. Turner thinking about it. He doesn't want it. He'll kick it back out and they'll set it back out. Trying to drive the lane, trying to find something. There'll be a foul on Dean. Good ball movement by the Indians. Looking for that great shot. Turner passing up a good shot to get a great shot. Great opportunity for Luster to get two of his own. He gets the first. That is the fifth point for Demetrius Luster. Turner and Newville lead the team right now with 11 points each. Luster not able to get that one to fall. Osceola down by 12. Here comes Drist himself. Trying to find something. Thought about a floater, he passes it back to Murray. Now Jordan Pearson out on the key. Murray covered by Humes. He's driving the lane, looking to find Driss himself. Driss himself trying to drive into that defense, not able to do so, and here comes Humes. Looking for the fast break. Just a bounce pass to North. North with the 12 footer, that's good. Osceola needing something here to keep themselves into the game. Murray trying to find the lane, not able to do so. Here comes Self, trying to get into his big man. He's able to do so after that's deflected from one Pearson to another, but not able to get the basket. Now here comes Haytai. Norris with the 17-footer. That's off the back iron. And that will be Osceola ball. Oh, look at that replay. Self just trying to do a little too much with that ball. And now Haytai easily with a fast break and that 12 footer for Norris. That'll happen every time for the Indians. Osceola ball. And they're going against the stingy full court press. Thinking about that cross court pass, not able to do so. Crowd pleading with the Osceola's team to move. And they're just having a tough time inbounding the ball right now. And now there'll be a timeout by Adam Collins. He's gonna have to light a fire under his team for them to have any chance of coming back. Logan Carey looks like he'll be checking into the game for Osceola. This full court pressure by Hayti and their ability to get steals has been 
the reason they are up by 14 right now. 21 turnovers created by Haytai on Osceola Indians. Other than that, Osceola is playing a pretty good game. 45% shooting the ball, 50%. Their defense needs to get a little bit better. They are allowing 48% field goal shot and 60% from the three-point range. Also, Haytai shooting twice as many free throws as Osceola. After that, 30 second timeout, we're back. And we'll see if Osceola has a plan to just get the ball in bounds. Jordan Pearson is now out. Carney relieving him. And now here comes Murray. Murray trying to dribble through the defenders, not able to do so. Another turnover by Osceola. Norris finding Turner. Turner thinking about the shot. He probably should have taken it. He traveled. Grissom self throwing the ball in. No one's moving. They finally get the ball in. Dean passing it over to Self. Now here's Dean. He's trying to do a little too much, and he gets it shift from Humes trying to pick up the ball. He does so. So jump stop, and that'll be a traveling call on Humes. Back and forth we go. Three possessions where we have yet to find a shot. Three straight turnovers. Dallas Self will get the ball. He's got to count on him. He's trying to find his teammate, Carney. Carney has it in there. That ball gets stripped. Haytai just overpowering Osceola right now. Here's Thomas. Not able to get the roll. And a little reversal by Osceola. That'll be a foul called on Dallas Self. The game at one point was 26-28. A tie on a bit of a run here. Thomas with the three-point shot. Turner, I mean, that's an air ball. Long pass, more of a rainbow. Dallas Elf is trying to get away from the defenders. That lane will not go. Pearson with the rebound, he'll get it. Jared Pearson is able to stop the bleeding momentarily for Osceola. Norris passing it over Turner. Turner trying to find Luster with a little bit of English. Not enough English for Turner. That's a turnover by the Indians of Haytai. Luster will now take a seat on the bench and so will Hume. And that breakaway won't happen for Osceola, but they are able to get the ball in. Here comes Dristen Self. Self passing it over to Pearson, but there was a foul called on the play. Twenty-eight forty, a tie. Dallas Self trying to find Pearson. He's able to do so. Pearson trying to work in the lane. He will get that ball to go in. A friendly shooter's touch. 40-30, hey Ty. Now here comes Turner. Good pass over to North. North with the lay in. He'll get two points. Murray bringing the ball up against Covington. Now here comes Dristen Self. He will get fouled by Covington. Covington going for the steal, not able to get all ball. Coach yelling at him to move your feet instead of reaching in. Now we have another substitution coming in for Norris will be Demetrius Luster. We'll go to that last basic. You see that good throw in. And Pearson just doing what he does and he will get the roll in for the putback. 42-30, hey Ty. Last throw in was actually knocked out of bounds by hey Ty, so OCL will still get the ball. They'll throw it back out to Driss himself. Driss himself to Dallas. 
Back over to Murray. Murray driving in, then coming back out. And there's a 17-footer. That won't go. Osceola getting the rebound. Trying to get the foul. Here comes Pearson. He'll clean up the mess. And now Osceola down by 10, trying to make this a single-digit game. Covington passing it back over to Newbill, trying to work it around the horn. Turner thinking about another three, not able. Pull the trigger. Trying to get inside, and there's a turnover by Haytai. Driss himself, he'll take it himself. And that'll be a foul on Turner. Osceola having the opportunity to make this a single digit game. This himself looks like he might be a little shaken up. I was subbing. Any second now will be Jordan Pearson. And that is Turner's third personal. He might be taking a break here. Driston Self with the first free throw. And now Osceola has the two-headed monster in Jordan and Jared Pearson. We'll have to do a good job cleaning up that interior defense for Osceola. Hatai has been exploiting that all game, it seems like. Driss himself, and then Jordan Pearson takes the tumble. Four on five right now, and there will be a foul called on Murray. Looks like Pearson just got his feet tangled up under him, and then that caused the numbers for Hatai. Murray will have his first personal. Newbill with his first free throw. Not getting the shooter's touch. Newbill, 57% from the line coming into this tournament. One for two. Starting to see a little sense of energy from Osceola. And a good steal by Newbill getting that from underneath. Humes with the Nola pass. Wouldn't have been a bad idea if he did look, but Haytai does get the ball back. Here's Johnson for three. That's off the front iron. Just hits the chest of Thomas. Haytai is able to get possession. Now here is Thomas. After the lay-in, there will be a Haytai timeout. A 30-second timeout for the Haytai Indians. So Osceola clawing their way back into this game. They are down by 11. Now you see that last play after the rebound. Hatai is able to drive and ditch, and that's been their MO this entire game. Jerome Thomas so far with seven points in today's game. And that's a third assist for Newbill. Newbill has 45 assists on the season so far. Osceola looking to get the ball in to Jordan Pearson. Pearson not able to get it to his guard, Murray, but it'll still say Osceola ball. Osceola looking to get in. He has Pearson wide open. He doesn't see him. And now Haytai will get it, but there will be a block by Self. Haytai setting it back up. Five, 10 foot jump shot by Luster. He won't be able to get it, but he gets his own rebound. And now Haytai in a bit of trouble. They get to the corner, possible trap for Haytai, not able to get it. And now Self is in a bit of trouble. He finds Murray somehow. Now Murray's dribbling the lane. And here comes Jordan Pearson. He will get the cleanup. Now Haytai, they're looking for a little fast break. That's been their tempo. And that will go a little too much English for Johnson. Osceola down by 11. Here comes Self. Self trying a little fancy work. And now here comes Pearson, not able to get the putback. And Self looks like he's shaking up on the play. 
But regardless, that'll be an assist for Humes, finding Newbill. And now Driss himself looks like he's coming out with an injury. His right arm. This isn't moving like it should right now. He's holding that right elbow. Looks like he might have just hit his funny bone on his way for that last layup. Osceola destroyed by energy so far. Dallas Self trying to get through. And he will get across midcourt. Passing it over to Jared. Not able to get the friendly roll. Four on three now. Jorge Ty, here comes Norris. Norris will be fouled by Jared Pearson. That will actually be Pearson's fourth foul. You already have two of your starters injured. Well, it looks like for Osceola, you cannot afford a third starter to foul out in the third quarter. So Jared Pearson will take a seat, and coming on in for him will be Logan Carney. The only other forward listed on this roster is Kenneth Ferguson, who we haven't seen yet today from Osceola. Stewart bringing the ball up. They'll get it to Murray. Down by 13. A little pick and roll. Not to find anything. Murray going against Norris. He'll get back. Good inside out. Not able to get the finish on the first time is Jordan Pearson, but he will the second. Now here comes Norris. Will he get the charge call or will that be a block? And that will be a charge on Norris. We're going to see if that's the correct call. Yeah, it looks like Pearson was set. Osceola getting the ball in. They break the press. Murray's not going to stop there. He's going to try to lay it in. He does so. Nine-point game. Hey, tie 49, Osceola 40. Newbill thinking about it. He wants to go into Norris. Norris back out to Covington. Covington over to Turner. Turner for three. That'll go. Now here comes Osceola looking to answer. Trying to get the foul call. They won't be able to do so. But it'll still say Osceola bar fall. And now we have a substitution for Haytai. I'll go ahead and look at the three-pointer. Good ball movement. And you just see Turner wide open. He'll get the three-point. Easily good form, good release. End up in a swish every time. Oh, Frankie Burden will substitute in for the Haytai Indians. And it looks to be another turnover. And everyone ball on the floor. Osceola able to pick it back up. Three pointer. For Osceola off the front end of the rim, and now here comes Haytai running. Newbill, it'll be all him. And there, oh, actually, there will be a block by Jacob Stewart coming out of nowhere. Haytai will take it back out. It looks like they will hold for the last shot. They're up by 12, 52 40. Turner thinking about another three. He'll actually dump it inside. Now, five seconds left for Osceola to get a last second shot. One second. And that'll be. Half court shot, nothing doing. So after the third quarter, the Haytai Indians are able to build on their lead. They are up by 14, 54, 40. In this show me showdown, class two boys, third place. Look at that rebuild, that replay I should say. And you see that block from Stewart. It looks like Newbill at a lane. He bobbles it a little bit as you can see. And that might be the reason that Stewart was able to come through. But regardless, you can't take anything away from Stewart right now. We have seen a ton of blocks in this game so far. So like I said, at the end of the third quarter, the Hitai Indians 54, the Osceola Indians 40. We're gonna go ahead and take a quick break, but we'll bring you the fourth quarter in just a quick second.
And we're back here for the fourth quarter of the Show Me Showdown. Class 2 boys, third place game. Osceola Indians down by 14. They'll get the ball in, and Hume's losing his footing. Murray trying to take advantage, not able to do so. Now you have Hume's one-on-one against Stewart. And there will be a foul, passing it to Turner. Turner won't be able to get the bucket, but he will go to the line for two. Turner with 14 points in this game today. Five of six from the free throw line. And that's just today. Every single shot he has had has been from deep. And he will get the first one to go. Third turner on the season, 34% from the three-point range. And then on the season for free throws, he's shooting less than 50%. So something has gotten into Hunter Turner. And he stays through that seven for eight from the free throw line. Murray able to get and then there's another turnover by Osceola. Covington trying to get the pass from Turner, not able to do so. And that is the 27th turnover for the Osceola Indians. Fifty-six forty, hey tie up on Osceola. Murray against Covington. And Covington falls down on that screen. Stewart feeding it into his big man. Jordan Parson. Parson will get blocked and there will be a foul call. Frankie Burton will be the guilty party. That is Burton's first personal. Number 44, Jordan Pearson has two shots. Jordan Pearson also under 50% from the free throw line this season. But he gets the first to go. Down by 15. We'll see if Osceola can make a comeback. They have two more timeouts. Hey, Ty has four. Not able to get the roll. So one for two for Pearson. And a good looking pass by Humes. He will feed it to Turner. And what vision by Humes to get that pass in between three defenders, what it looks like. And that ball will go off the foot of Stewart. So hey, Ty's ball. And they will continue to pressure. We'll have another look at that pass. You see that beautiful bounce pass between three defenders. Turner with the good finish. Looks like hey, Ty is just going to Slow it down a little bit, let some clock run. Right now, clock is the enemy for Osceola. Here's Turner again, off the front end. Now Murray's bringing the ball up. Some fancy dribbling. He passes it over to Stewart. Stewart back over to Dean. Dean trying to get it inside. And that's blocked. Carney not able to get the shot off. Here's Hume passing it to Turner. No foul called. There'll be a foul called on Jerome Thomas. He will go to the line. It just looks like Hey Ty is just better in shape team against his Osceola team. See hands on knees. They are sucking wind right now, this Osceola team. First one will go for Jerome Thomas. He has 10 on today's game. Now he has 11. 41-60, Osceola. Dean trying to get the ball over to his teammate Stewart, but that was deflected. Now it looks like Dallas Self will be back in. 
Dallas and Driss himself will come in for Osceola. Jacob Murray bringing the ball up against Senior Covington. Find the back move. Oh, he finds Self. Self with the floater. That doesn't drop. Hey, Ty looking to run again. Covington trying to throw that in the air. He was pleading for a bounce pass. And more substitutions in for Hey, Ty. Johnson, Newville, and Luster will come in. And now coming on in for Osceola taking the place of Logan Carney will be Jared Pearson. He has four fouls. You need to be careful if you're Osceola. If you're Haytai, you attack Pearson as much as you can. Try to get that fifth foul and get him out of the game. And then that's exactly what they do. And that'll be a traveling call on Frankie Bird. And Haytai has 18 turnovers on today's game. But nothing compared to Osceola. Dallas Self getting the ball. Now here's Tristan Self back over to Dallas. Dallas passing that over to Pearson. Pearson will get the easy bank shot. Jared Pearson's eighth point of the game. Osceola down by 17. They were down by 11 when this quarter started. That was an intensive foul, didn't work. And Humes will take it for an easy lay-in. I don't know what happened with that zone defense there, but no one guarded Humes one bit. Now here comes a free lane for Osceola, and there's Murray taking the foul, and he will go to the line. As a 16 foul for Hay Tai. Both teams have six, so the next foul will be a bonus. Murray will get the first to drop. Trying to get this to single digits first and then look for a comeback. But Osceola needs to first and foremost take care of the ball. Two for two. Looks like a lot more substitutions coming on in for Haytai. Here's Nubo driving the lane. He will get the bank shot. And Pearson dribbling the ball. Looking for Murray. Murray trying to get the bank shot to go. It will not. And that'll be Haytai's ball, and now a ton of substitutions coming on in for Haytai. Everyone coming out except for, looks like Antonio Johnson. Thomas, Norris, Turner, and Cummington are back in. Johnson bringing the ball up. Pass that over to Turner. Norris thinking about three. Passes it up. 17 footer. Off the back of the iron for Haytai, but they get the rebound. Johnson for three. That'll go. And Osceola looking to answer. Finger roll, that won't go, but there'll be a foul. Just himself will go to the line. And look at that three pointer again. Off that rebound, no one coming over to guard. Johnson says, why not? I'll take a three myself. Turner has a lot. First one off the front end of the iron for Self. And that just shows you how tired Dresden Self and this team is. Barely able to get it to the front part of the rim. Hey, Ty has been running Osceola just all game. Shooters roll. Now Austin Watkins will come on in. 
Frankie Burden, and now so will Brandon Burden. And now we also have another substitution, Kanata Brooks. So it looks like everyone getting in on the fun here for the Haytai Indians. Now checking in for Osceola will be Dylan Ficoli. Brooks. Almost gets his soul and he passes it off to Brandon Burden. There will be a three second call on Hey Ty. So now we'll see what Osceola can do. Down by 21. Here's Murray, thought about the shot, passes it up. Here's Driss himself, he actually stepped on the line. He'll take it, give it back to Hey Ty. That's their 29th turnover of the game. Here comes Brooks, he's looking to dump that off and there'll be a foul call on Osceola. No one picking Brooks up, he'll just go ahead and take the lane. And Grissom Self will get the foul, that's his second personal. One and one count. So a good time for Brooks to get some points to his name. He averages 1.8 a game. He gets the first to drop. Sideline for Hey Hey Ty smiling. Two for two for Brooks. Just under 3.30 left to go for Osceola. Pass it over to Piccoli. Piccoli. Over to Powell. Powell's still in. He'll take a three. He will drain it. Powell, even with that injury, he is still back in. He is still fighting. Looks like Powell has some limited mobility. He'll pass that back over to Self. Now here's Piccoli. Piccoli back over to Powell. To Piccoli. Now back to Powell. Powell, that shot's off. Good rebound by Murray. He'll keep it alive. Trying to get the lay in, not able to do so. No foul called. Comes Brooks. He'll pass it up to Watkins. Watkins. A little fancy footwork. There'll be a traveling call on Demetrius Luster. We'll have another look at that travel. One, two, three, yep. Three steps, always tough to do. Jacob Murray bringing the ball up for Osceola. Two, two twelve left to go. Nicole looking to get the ball in, and that'll be stolen. Hey, Ty, fast break. Frankie Burton not able to get the shot in, but he does draw the foul. Even up by 20, hey, Ty, I don't think they know anything else besides a fast break. This team is geared for just speed, and they create a lot of turnovers, and when they do that, they are deadly. And case in point is this game right here, Osceola. They fall victim to that. More substitutions coming in for Osceola. Jacob Stewart will come on in. And so will Kenneth Ferguson, the six foot junior forward. A Frankie Burden looking to get one of two. He does exactly that. Piccoli, the senior guard. He'll find Powell, Powell passing it over and that 
shot by Ferguson, not able to go. The body flying everywhere. And an and one call for Brandon Burden. The freshman 6'2 forward, he'll get two points and he'll have a chance for a three point play. And that shot off the back of the rim. And another turnover for Hitai. Here comes Watkins. Watkins loses the dribble, looking to find Newbill. Newbill over to Burden. Brandon Burton, four points on today's game. That's doubling this season average. Here's a three-pointer by Piccoli. He will get three points. You see a little smile from him. Powell still battling out there even with that injury. Here's Burton. Shot by Brooks, that'll go. Two points, long two pointer. Everyone getting into the action for Haytai. Timeout for Osceola. Looks like there'll be another substitution. Thane Summer will be coming on in. And with 51 seconds left to go, it looks like the Haytai Indian will claim third place here in the Class Two Boys Show Me Showdown. Hey Ty just doing what they've been doing all season, creating turnovers and running the court. And especially if a team isn't as quick as they are or as shape, they make them pay. And if you look at Osceola, they are just fighting for air. Especially the starters who came into this game. Jacob Murray, Driss himself. Very good performance, but just a little too much of Hey Ty. You look at the X Factor for the Haytai Indians, you have to think it goes to Hunter Turner. 18 points in today's game. Not bad for someone who only averages nine. Powell thinking about three-pointer, he'll back it up. He actually tries. He can barely get off the ground right there. Newbill blocks it. Here's Watkins. Watkins will try the lane. He does again. Burden trying to get the ball, and there's a scramble down low. Osceola ends up getting the ball. Now here's Powell. Limping. He'll shoot the three, though. And a steal by Summer. Summer passing it back out to Pearson. Pearson with the 15-footer. That'll go. Newville gets the ball. 12 seconds left to go. He'll pass it over to Watkins. Watkins shoots a three, and he'll get a three. Austin Watkins will get a three-pointer, and that'll be the game. The Haytai Indians playing third place in the Class 2 Boys Show Me Showdown. Final score, 79-54, and all the credit going to Hunter Turner and Newbill. Both 18 points for Turner, 16 for Newbill. And they lead their team to a third place finish at the Show Me Showdown. Thanks for joining me. I'm Nick Adams here on Fox Sports coverage of Missouri High School Basketball. Please stick with us for the next
Ladies and gentlemen, 